<laughs> that was terrible. Oh, no, you look better than I do. Um, Tom and I are at Outback Steakhouse. We finally finished moving. Basically, we haven't unpacked, but we've unpacked just enough to run home, dive into bed, um, and watch you know, divorce Whatever. court Whatever. before going to bed, and then we're going to have to sleep under an electric blanket because there's not going to be heat until Monday. Because your boy didn't get the gas turned on until Monday. Because my boy was busy handling <laughs> literally everything else. My boy is overwhelmed. He's working, doing gameplay on, well, he's he taking also... care of me, he's handling all the telephone stuff. He's amazing. I also strode into him. Like the confidence of just like it's electric, right? It's electric. <laughs> no. oh. It's not. It is not. Uh, it was sweet though. Oh. No hot water. So yeah, no hot water <laughs> either. Uh, which is sad because I really wanted a bath. But anyway, we're so we're going to we're celebrating. And um, Tom, what are you having? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lumen fried chicken. Yes, that's what it is. And I am getting the filet and choice of a shrimp. I'm getting the grilled shrimp on the barbie, provided they are de because otherwise that shit's gross. That literal shit is gross. So then we're going to get a triple layer carrot cake. And I somewhere. am going to drink some booze for the first time in however long, long ass months. time, yeah, and before that it was like a year, I drink like maybe once or twice a year, um, but so yeah, I'm gonna get a margarita, Do it. Te tequila makes me so hyper, it makes me fighty, but in, in a nice way, in a loving way, so get ready for horseplay, I apologize, sure. That's <laughs> anyway, love you guys, came close to having a seizure today, but made it through. It's another reason to celebrate. Oh, that means I can't have any alcohol. It lowers the seizure threshold. Fuck. Oh well. It, I'll, I'll pretend. Okay. <laughs> I'll enjoy my... I'll get a virgin something. Yeah, virgin margarita? I don't know what that would taste like. Let's find out. I have to point out that this steak is medium rare. That's what I asked for, and that's exactly what I got. And this is the first time in my life I have ever had a perfect medium rare steak. And this is the first time in my life I've ever had coconut shrimp, and I love them. And these are just incredible. This is madness, and I love it. That I don't think I can eat. I think that would kill my stomach forever. Tom's broccoli is so fresh. Tom is shaking his head. You can't see him, but he's shaking his head. There's, uh, he's got the bloomin' chicken. It looks amazing. He, he will not let me film him. But, yeah. Y'all doing alright over oh, here? Oh, yes, I just Were wanted to say... Are you ready for another beer? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't... Is that... Yes, please. Yes. I also wanted to say that this steak is perfect, and I know you guys are slammed, and just the fact that you... This is the first time I've ever had exactly... Oh, that's what awesome! I, perfect! That's exactly yeah, what I like. So I was wondering if you could pass that... I will. I will definitely let them know. I'd love to hear you say it. Thank you for letting me know, and I'll get your beer out, okay? Thank you. Ryman House. Well, we need to welcome that. We just realized that we don't have one. Let's go inside. So we're still unpacking. Uh, it is absolutely my fault that we have gotten, that, that we're still living in a sea of boxes because Tom has been busy with work, and I have been busy having seizures, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. Anyway, as you come in through the door, you can see I put up a Japanese wedding charm that I got at the Oshigatsu uh, festival, and we have, so let's see, we have lots of posters to put up. I have no idea where I'm going to put Deadpool. Check it out, a mirror, and fireplace. Let's get his fire. Oh my god. So here's our front porch. It's really nice. We have 
perfect place to put like a swing or something. Um, let's see, this is a little shoe corner. It's awesome, the cabinet for shoes and you can sit down, another mirror so you can check. Make sure you don't look all crazy and fungified when you go out. An awesome thermometer that our landlord just basically gave us. Um, this is gonna be a coat closet, but as you can see, you can't really get to it. But hey, there's the ledger. This is going to be the living room. Uh, as you can see, boxes, 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 and video games, oh my goodness. Uh, we've kind of been digging through boxes and just grabbing what we need. Yes. All right, we have okay. board game boxes. They're all my board games. One, two, technically three. Hero clicks. That's a hero clicks box. It yes. refuses to stay closed. Four, five. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> oh my god. Thirteen. <laughs> and I think that's all of them. Oh my goodness. Thirteen. Thirteen boxes. Thirteen boxes! <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, you probably can hear the television in the background. That's my beloved Judge Lynn Toller. Her voice just calms me, so I often have that sh her shows going on during the day. So here's our kitchen! And look! I cleaned it! It's so nice! We have a gas stove and all this fun stuff. Dishwasher. Whee! Oh man, I need to open this. So we have two different patio doors, which allows us to get a lot of light in here. It's just wonderful. Oh dang, my oh it's stuck. Oh, I hate the I hate these blinds. I think they're called they're Venetian blinds, right? I think so. Ah, sorry, it's all wobbly. So that's it's you know it's been raining, which looks. Um, we have these. It's a cool house. Uh, we have these interesting windows, a little ceiling thing here. As you may notice, the ceilings are very high in here. And they're very interesting. Oh, hey, there's Captain Kirk. I don't know if I'm going to keep him in here or not. He's going to go somewhere. So the ceilings are high, and it's got this interesting kind of cutout in a lot of these rooms. So we're going to be able to put up action figures and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just really like it. I love a lot of space. It's like a birdhouse or an elvish house, which I love. But you know what else I love? I've never had this before. It's a pantry! Ah! Yes! This is my shelf. It has all of my, my stuff. Um, and it's just... We, we haven't really filled it up yet, but we're going to. I've got a nice tea cabinet! Look at that! It's beautiful. All right, let's head in. We have the one bathroom, which I am currently using to hang up our clothes. Oh, but it's so nice. And we have the garage and a nice gas furnace, which is lovely. The landlord and I have been trying to find a Rogue 220. Uh, line where it terminates. We cannot find it. So, also, uh, he put up this temporary 220 line here. But, uh, it's, it's goofy. The wiring in this house is very strange. It could not find it, so I am gonna crawl up in the attic and find it at some point. And, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Tom's hoodie is still... I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to murder a stain. Just, I tried last night, it was still there. All right, back inside. This is my office. And as you can see, it is a, it is a mess. But here's where I do my streaming. I was thinking of putting up like this, this wall for like photos and stuff. So I need to get a backdrop. But uh, yeah, I need to, I have a lot of stuff to unpack. Here's my cosplay closet. And um, 
in unpacking, I realized I had a whole lot more costumes that I could bring to bear. Like, check it out! It's Katana! That would be a fun costume. I suck at Mortal Kombat, but I want to get better. What was on this one? I don't know. I'll fix it. But yeah, um, <laughs> I'm gonna fix this. This is not gonna be here. I've got bags of wigs. Wig. I need a wig stand. I don't know what to do with this. These wigs. Um, this is a wonderful box from my niece when she was little. She is now 13 going on 14. She made a puppet of me. <laughs> it's very sweet. And um, just these incredibly sweet. Yeah, we're, we're definitely looking at all of these. So we have Welcome Back, Yay, from Allison, to M, she ran out of space. <laughs> this is when we were visiting her, I think she was seven. Oh. She says, I am glad you came back. I hope that when you and Tom will travel safely back, you are a good to have around. I had to squeeze friend. <laughs> I hope you have a good time at our house. Love, Alice and her alley. Oh, and a picture that says you just made a kid happy. Which, I mean, I'm going to treasure this for the rest of my life. <laughs> there is nothing quite like receiving just love from a, from a wonderful kid like that. She's got rainbows, and I don't know if they're birds or M's, but it's very sweet. Oh, I wrote, she wrote her name and I wrote my name. That was fun. Oh my god, I love this child. But um, she made, it's a marina box, so she made, she gave, gave me some breadsticks. Um, and a, this was, I believe, a pinwheel. Yeah, but it's broken now. But it's like, she she's amazing. Now, years later, Allie is a very talented photographer. She's also a very good artist, and she, um, she's, her photographs have been entered into a national competition. Um, they're just incredible. She has an amazing eye, and uh, it's wonderful to have seen sort of like how it developed. But yeah, she's, man, if I, if she lived nearby, I would ask her to do all my cosplay pictures for me. But yeah, oh, there's my awesome laptop best laptop in the world. All right. And this shelf is going to be cosplay stuff. So it's going to be good. Oh yeah, I got my sword wrapped up. In a oh, oh shit. But yeah, wrapped up in a towel because the moving guys didn't want them to cut themselves. This is Tom's office and it is awesome. This is like the best man cave. And look at these pictures. Oh, hold on. Let me open the blinds. Here we go. That is Tom and his brother John as little ones. And that's Tom's uh, late Opa. I got to meet him. He was wonderful. Just a really funny Polish guy. And also uh, he was in World War II he was awesome. He was conscripted by force um, by the SS in Poland from his high school. He was hiding in the bathroom as a lot of the boys did when the SS would come around and um, they caught him and uh, he almost he was almost forced to go into the SS himself because he spoke I think six languages and he was just a very intelligent guy. He actually, in, uh, he was one of the inventors of the ultrasound wand, the ladies. <laughs> um, just a very smart guy, uh, really understands. He, he, he was passionate about acoustics and all that stuff. Very funny. Um, so what ended up happening is he was stationed at a base um, and he, you know, a Nazi base, he ended up uh, he, he just started stealing from the officers, whatever he could, just making a, a nuisance of himself because it was like, fuck these Nazis. Um, and then the British bombed the base and he was injured, his back was injured, I think that he broke his back, um, and he joined the British forces and for the remainder of the war fought for the British. 
And so yeah, he's an amazing guy, and I'm so I'm so privileged to have been able to meet him. But yeah, you can see little Tom. He's just adorable. Just the cutest baby. But yeah, this is Tom's. Man, we had, I think, like 16 boxes. Yeah, like 16 boxes of board games. Holy crap, and I think these boxes still have board games in them. Let me check. <sighs> Let me use this wand to check. Does it say board games? Uh, I can't read it. Oh, action figures. Okay, yeah. So, boxes of action figures and board games. It's just a happy place in here. We got the Turtles Arcade! Turtles in Time! But yeah, it's good. It's got good times. Alright, then, I've got Divorce Court on very loud in the bedroom. But it's an awesome bedroom. With an. Oh, it's a master bedroom! Oh! And this is the big thing. I have a walk-in closet! This is one of those things, you know how some women are just like, Oh, I dream of the day that I can have a big wedding! For me it was, I dream of the day I can have a walk-in closet! And I finally have one. Hell yeah. <sighs> so I've got my makeup and my bags and everything, and it's just... Oh, it's so nice in here. If I had had one of these as a kid, I would have just lived in it. I would have just lived inside the closet, and I would have been so happy. <laughs> so yeah, but here's the, another big thing. We have another patio here, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a pomegranate tree. Pomegranates are my absolute favorite fruit and one of my favorite foods and just seeing this tree just made this feel more like home. One of the things that I love about having a house is that oh, just oh, I've never since uh, the floods and the fires and everything just I haven't been able to feel safe in a house um, or an apartment just it's never felt like home it's always felt temporary it's always felt like oh I can't really settle in here so I've never completely unpacked before and um, I'm hoping Ah, I feel like this is it. I feel like I can make this our home. I'm very excited about it. And, um, I mean, I'm nervous. But we're far away from any large bodies of water. We are far from the fires um, and, and kind of far from everything. So I feel like, okay, natural disasters can't get us here, you know, except for droughts and all that stuff. But, uh, anyway, whew, that's not fun. So one of the things that I really enjoyed doing in this house is cleaning up. I find that I love doing housework. I find it very fulfilling um, because it's something that immediately gives you results. Uh, I also, I'm a creature of order. I'm lawful good. And uh, I just, I feel so much more comfortable in a structured environment. It's empowering to be able to create order and to be able to control my space and make it into what I want it to be. And um, when I'm having an anxiety attack, which is something that happens daily, um, multiple times a day, uh, I can just start cleaning, like start cleaning the surfaces or cleaning the bathroom or doing laundry, my favorite chore. so much better and um, it gets out a lot of that tension a lot of that energy that nervous energy that makes it impossible to relax 
and I feel accomplished afterwards, so all of the inner negativity that I always have going on, you know, all of that can kind of fall to the wayside, just like, okay, I'm not that bad, because look at, because look at this counter. And so it helps, and once I've done it, I can get back to doing the stuff that I really need to do. No matter what's going on, there's probably a chore that is doable. Oh, got my neurologist appointment soon, I'm so nervous. Uh, whew. My seizures have never been this bad, um, and so I don't know what he's gonna tell me. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. I, I'm feeling like I might need to restructure heart fist brain to be less about streams and more about vlogs podcasts and the comic um, and then maybe streaming whenever I have the time and of course you know cosplay pictures uh, especially for the new branch of heart fist brain that is going to be for just people who have disposable income that they want to spend on on cosplay pictures <laughs> so that that way the regular stuff stays cheap and all that's you know uh, that's 50 shades of yay so I'll keep that up Alright guys, I'm gonna get to my appointment.